Hello, I'm Superintendent Joe Gothard. St. Paul Public Schools is changing and we need your help to set a new vision. We're working on a new strategic plan that will set goals for student achievement, help guide decision making, and will allocate resources to accomplish those goals. We've shared a draft strategic framework with the school board that includes long-term student outcomes that have specific results we want for our students, and strategic focus areas that must be addressed to achieve those results. The student outcomes and focus areas are only drafts and could change based on your feedback. So I want to thank you for your time and your support in this work, because we can't do it without you. Now, here's more information about the development of our strategic plan and your role in it. Thank you. St. Paul Public Schools is developing a new strategic plan. A strategic plan sets goals for student achievement, helps guide decision making, and allocates resources to accomplish those goals. We began the process by working with an external strategy firm that reviewed past surveys, reports, and student data. The findings include some key areas that we'll focus on. Achievement. The statewide assessments known as the MCAs show that regardless of income, white students continue to perform better than students of color and American Indian students. More than 40% of SBPS students do not meet state standards in reading, math, and science. And more than 60% of our English learners do not meet state standards in math and reading. Graduation rates. Since 2012, four-year graduation rates have been improving, and the gaps are narrowing, with the exception of special education. College and career readiness. We know that less than one-third of SPPS students achieve ACT scores that indicate readiness for college, and white students significantly outperform their peers on the test. Almost two-thirds of SPPS graduates enroll into college the fall after high school graduation, which is on par with national averages. And employment data on the Twin Cities area show there are many in-demand job opportunities that pay a living wage for those with at least a certification or associate's degree. In January, we conducted a survey that asked the community about the district's strengths and opportunities for improvement. Survey results for the strengths of SBPS include that teachers are committed to student success, teachers have strong relationships with students, and access to technology is positive district-wide. Opportunities for improvement include Reducing the gap in achievement between students of different races and American Indian students. Improving achievement in reading. Improving achievement in math. You can review the full summary of the findings at spps.org slash strategic plan under data and documents. All this information helped develop a draft strategic framework. The draft is what you'll be reviewing to offer valuable feedback. It consists of long-term student outcomes that are key areas of achievement that we want to improve in order to raise the performance of all students. The key areas include eliminating disparities in achievement for racial groups and American Indian students. The gaps in achievement among students of color and American Indian students as compared to their white peers. Increase achievement of English learners. English learners make up one-third of the district's student population, and we must continue to support and address their achievement disparities. Increase kindergarten readiness. We will strive to ensure our youngest learners receive the support they need to be ready for kindergarten on day one. Improve achievement in third grade reading. Research shows that school performance becomes an issue if students are not reading at grade level by third grade. Improve achievement in eighth grade math. Proficiency in math is critical as students enter high school and prepare for graduation. Ensure all graduates are ready for college and career. Help provide opportunities that meet individual needs and goals of every student so they can be successful after high school. While the long-term outcomes are what we want to see for our students, the following strategic focus areas are what we need to do as a district to bring about that change. Strategic focus areas include positive school and district culture. By creating a shared sense of community to build trust and collaboration within and outside our schools. Effective and culturally relevant instruction. Or instruction that is relevant to each student so they can stay engaged and feel valued in the classroom. Program evaluation and resource allocation. This means we must evaluate effectiveness of current programs and make adjustments and investments in those that work. 
college and career paths. We should expose students to more college and career opportunities while in high school, including the ability to earn college credit, certifications, and internships. Family access and opportunity. Ensuring equitable access to families so they can navigate the school system and the wealth of programs it offers. The draft strategic framework could change following community input sessions like this one. Once it's finalized, the district will then create strategic initiatives. These initiatives will include the work we must do to make a difference in student learning and will be an important part of the strategic plan. Thank you so much and we look forward to your input.